What a day. I just thought we'd take a quick look at this LaKentz LV-H62. It's a retro reflective sensor head. And uh, this, this particular sensor head goes to an amplifier. So it's got a connector here, which I'll, I'll pop it off in a few minutes. Because it's a, uh, if we can see here, it's a four pin connector. So it's uh, red, white. So it's probably going to be the shield wires. I think these have almost like a little coaxial shield type uh, wire to them. Even though it looks like a two conductor, we'll, we'll double check that. Got a little cover over it here. And um, you can you can get these off of eBay, but I believe this model is obsolete. This is a July 2003 uh, manufacturer date. Just take the little, little mountain bracket off here. And I'm going to pry and see if I can take the cover off and just have a look inside. Because with that being a laser and lens, it's just going to be very interesting, I believe, to see just how small the electronics are. How small the circuit board is and um just look inside and see if it's interesting if it is i'll post the video but i was uh i was going to look inside of it anyway i typically still love taking things apart and learning more about them so it looks like it is just lift up and separate look at that That's pretty cool. So back now I've taken off the uh, connector off camera to save time. We do see our red and our white wire with the um, shielding on it. That's why I had four pins, even though it looked like a two conductor cable. And uh, this, this is actually fairly interesting. It See if I can get this out without destroying it. I mean, I, I bought it to take apart anyway, but oh, there's a little prism. That's neat. It might be the single largest thing in the whole housing. See, we got a, um, extremely smooth sides. And we got some of this kind of satin or matte. Okay, let's see if we can get the cord out of here. We can raise the cord out. I don't see any sticky back tape or anything. I think it's all just pressed in. So there's a little glass lens there. That's, I'm assuming glued. No, it's not glued in. It actually slides in. Look at there. Glass or crystal there. We have a lens here, which is probably the detector, wouldn't you think? Yeah, I'll call that the detector little piece of tape right there that's what's holding me out wow look at that so it's like little ground planes here or shields in between isn't that neat so we have our little ground planes or our shields here we just folded in between we're back to the front board there with the little small leds so that's just our small surface mount leds we have a board here they are some very very small components but the the biggest surprise of the whole thing is how they fold this up origami style and uh and got all this in this small small package and um, i can continue to unfold this thing look at there the chip on flex well maybe not truly chip on flex it's, it's the boards actually well look how thin that board's bending it almost it's almost like the whole thing is basically a chip on flex. So we have our detector, a little board here with a factory set, tiny potentiometer. Not a tremendous amount of components on this tiny thing, but what we have here looks like the laser detector. So this is retroflective, so it'll be a reflector this thing shoots to and comes back, right? And, and it gets its focus on here. It's a rather large component there, like a little diode. Two eight pin little chips there. So this is our laser. Pretty neat. So we should be in the visible spectrum. Looks like red, 650 nanometers, three milliwatts, and the pulse duration there. So that's probably why we got the shield in there. It's for that pulse duration. 
because apparently it is high frequency uh, pulses on it so to protect some of the um, circuitry from the sound the noise rather so back now with my power supply just under 2 volts and limited to less than 100 milliamps I don't even know if that shows up on camera but I can see a faint a faint dot right in here go up to 2.7 volts That is the right pin out for just the actual laser diode. It's of course, without um, a good constant current, knowing all the data, we'll just burn the laser up if we try to overdrive it. So that's beyond the scope of this video. If you like to look inside of this Kent's LV862 retroreflective sensor head, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.